Kai Jaisi again. Today I'm here to do another anime review. And this anime review is to... Nisekoi Season 2, Episode 6, guys. Yes, guys, it's Season 2, Episode 6. With anime review. Now, in this review, um, in this in this episode, we just got... um, It's a Valentine's Day episode. So, yes, the clap. There is always, in nearly every single romantic comedy anime... There's always a Valentine's Day. So, yep. So, we get a chance to see some Valentine's... Uh, I'm get a chance to see some Valentine's Day episodes in this season. Now, in this, se in this episode, uh, all three girls, Tachibana, Chokoge, and Onara, want to give Ichigo chocolates. Because in Japan, um, part of Valentine's Day... Females give chocolates to the males, and then or the other way round, or and then next White Day, I think it is like um, White Day is where the guys repay the girls for the chocolates. Now I'm not just saying girls can do it; girls can also do it for the uh, guys as well. Do it for the another girl. It's possible that a girl can give another girl chocolates, so that's also possible. And it can also be possible for a guy to give a guy chocolates or something like that. But, um, that's, but I'm just talking about that's how Japan do Valentine's Day. But, anyway, um, this episode, or but all three main female characters, all three, all the three female characters wanted to give t Ichigo uh, uh, was Ruko because Ichigo is his other name, his third name. Sorry, Ru want to give Ruko a some chocolates. Now, oh, well, at the start of the episode, I ultimately get the because I've seen a lot of anime with romance with Valentine's Day. Once I saw the chocolates getting made in the start of the episode, I was straight away for Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day, and then after the opening, and yes, Valentine's Day. So. If you watch anime as long as I have, you can automatically tell things quite quickly because it's a cliche. There's all it's a it's very 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 common in, in romantic comedies to be a Valentine's Day episode. So once we see the chocolates game made, we automatically expect Valentine's Day, which is of course this episode showed. Uh, now in this episode, we get a lot of embarrassing react a lot of embarrassment from from. All the three, all the three characters. Well, except Tachibana, who really, really is the only one out of all the three who actually revealed her love for Ruko, because I don't know. She just got very, she's just very, very strong-hearted. I would say she's very strong-hearted. She is like a girl still, so she is sensitive to situations. But again, she, out of the three, she is strong-willed. She's strong-willed to reveal her true feelings. Of course, again, we all already knew his her true feelings from the first time she'd been entered because, come on, she revealed it straight away. <laughs> but anyway, this episode, um, basically, out of three, Touch Man was the only one who was able to admit, um, to, well, not the only, well, actually, not the first, but the only one out of the three who were able to give chocolates to him without being embarrassed. But, of course, he didn't receive it because... Tachibana made a statue of chocolate that looked like Ruko. Yes, that shows you how much she's in love with Ruko. As she's rich, she will freaking make a chocolate statue looking like Ruko. Think about it, guys. And let me see. It's like let's see if I think about it um, from the size of if I compare it in real life and the size of the um, it looked like in the anime, it looked like the size of a freaking house. Like, maybe not the size of my house, but like, a half, like a bungalow. Like, let me see how to put it, if I'm compared to my house. A half of the size of my house. It's a half of the size of my house right now. But the half the size. That shows you how... Whoa, how big it is! Like, it's just so freaking massive! That chocolate statue of Ruko! Whoa, that is big! Big, I got to tell you, big! Imagine, someone that likes you, like, really likes you, 
and you actually reveal their feelings to you and gives you a chocolate statue that is that big. Just imagine. How would you react? I would react like, like that. But of course, Chachimai does do it a bit more rough than she tries to do because she I made Ruko like jump and then stop running. Of course, she ends up running after him and stuff, which is quite funny. <laughs> but also in this episode, we um again the other two, Tachibana and Chokoge, were ringing back to give chocolates to Ichigo, to ah to Ruko. I'm saying his third, I'm saying his other na his third name for some reason. But anyway, to Ruko and, and yeah, it was just so funny and just the the reaction between every single girl and yeah, I found it was really cool. Cool and also Sukude to. Ah, and Sugare, and ah, su ah, Sugare, the, the other female character who's the bodyguard for Chikoge, um, she does also, he, she, she does give a, a chocolate to him after getting, cho giving cho getting chocolates from a girl. After we know that Sugare is a, a female a, who looks like a boy, so she's a trap, a ma a female trap that looks like a male. So, of course, the female that gave her chocolates didn't do because she, she was a boy because uh, I think everybody knew she was a girl so if I think about it whoa there is some there are some Yuri characters in this episode well maybe not proper Yuri characters but like some of the um just extras are Yuri that's not I think I did I never expect some Yuri I never said it's a, a little Yuri scene a little Yuri scene a little one. Like, a little Yuri scene. That's the first time I've seen in Yutakoi. I don't think I've seen any in season one. It's the first time I've seen it in se from any anything from Yutakoi. Uh, but so a little bit of Yuri scene. Only a little bit, so I don't think it's going to have the Yuri um, genre put onto the tags, I think. I don't think so. But, okay, but that was something I'd expect. But, again... It was just giving chocolate, so I don't think we. I I don't think most people will classify as Yuri. Seen to me, it does because again, it she that female student knew she was a female, so again, still I classify as a Yuri scene because that was pretty and still pretty short. But anyway, um, she does get she so does give chocolate a choc a chocolate to Ruko, and Ruko does get overjoyed because he ne he's never been given chocolates by a girl before, uh, until. Sugar gave him to him, and he felt really pleased. It doesn't, and it seems like also in Japan with the chocolates thing, um, there's two ways you can get chocolates for. You can be ch give chocolates for romance, or you can get just chocolates just for giving chocolates away, just like for friends, just giving like a friend, or just because you're family or something like that. So technically, just chocolates like that. They're not like love chocolates, just like regular chocolates you just give to someone as a present, something like that. Um, so that's what, I can't really say, I don't know really how to say the name, but, um, yeah, so I mostly do think, that's how I mostly does things there. Um, next, oh, it's ordinary. Uh, next, well, we now, go for, now we go for Chikoge. Now, um, Chikoge wanted, at, we, at the start, uh, after the opening, she came in and pretended she didn't know it was Valentine's Day today, which of course she did. Uh, pretended she didn't know, because, again, America and Br and our cut and England, when we have we do Valentine's Day, is different. It's a lot different. We do, uh, because we need to, we don't just give them chocolates. We also give them cards or flowers. And it's anybody, anybody can give chocolates to anybody. Anybody can do that. Anybody can do that. And it's usually in lockers or straight out, um, or just and mostly that's what we or send it by mail or something. That's what we do in the UK, or but. In America, but in Japan, um, they just give chocolates, which I think, hmm, just chocolate, eh? And if they do add something else to it that make it, they will think, well, wow, something like a bit more shocker than it should be. Um, when for us it's normal, would say I'll say it's normal, but for them it seems to be at, not that common for giving them more than just chocolates for that time say. But anyway, um, back to what I was about to say, uh. Talk about so Chikoge a wanted to give chocolates to Ruko, but unfortunately she didn't be honest about things and sort of lied to him that she she didn't make chocolates. 
um, until the end. She does give him chocolates, but as again, like I said, friend chocolates, not really love, which she wanted to, but unfortunately she didn't have the courage to reveal our true feelings to him, even though they're pretending to be boyfriend, girlfriend, so it should not be that bad, even though they're pretending because of the parents and stuff, but still, as they are technically, technically boyfriend or girlfriend, it should not be that weird, but unfortunately, they still felt I'm very embarrassed to give him chocolates. Now, ordinary, uh, uh, same situation, uh, she couldn't be fully honest, but she didn't say it to Ruko, she just kept it to herself, and then, okay, and when she had the courage to give it to him, um, she ended up breaking the chocolate. She felt really embarrassed she couldn't give it to him. And But Chikoge made them up and kept the promise. Because they told each other they, they were in love with someone, but they never told them who. But they kept the promise never to... Um, to this Because it's the first time they tell them they were in love with someone. And yeah, as you guys know, they kept promises and to um, and cheer them on for their romance to their loved one. And of course, Ordine, um, because of that car, she and um, Tokoge made chocolates for Ordine, which of course, Ordine gives to Ruko afterwards. And, and it's really cute. It was very, very cute. I say it was really that ending. That little ending was very cute. I just think it's very cute, very cute ending. And yeah, and that's how the episode end. Honestly, just like with the, and yeah, and and how that's how I would say, and it's a. Um, the animation, the animation quality in this episode, the animation quality in this episode, again, <gasps> sparkles, yeah, again, sparkles, 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 again, got to say the sparkles, 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 yeah, guys, the sparkles, yeah, he just can't help but the sparkles, because we got sparkles, yeah, sorry, guys, I can't help when I say sparkles, Nisa Koi just got lots of sparkles! Oh man, the sparkles, the sparkles, the sparkles. And again, the animation quality is great, and the sparkles. Again, it's very good as usual, and I just can't wait for the next episode because I just like Nisa Koi. Nisa Koi is a very good, and again, made by Shonen Jump, so come on. Probably by Shonen Jump. You guys can't help it. It's made by Shonen Jump, who made the. who published the big free, the big Free, actually, more fact, big four, I would say. Because we can be able tell, but the big three, the big three, the big three Naruto, Bleach, and One Piece. The big three, the big three. They, Shonen Jump are the ones that created those guys, goddammit. They're, they're published, though, so of course you can make, you expect greatness from every single episode, every single anime they create. Come on. Just come on, you guys can't help. You just can't help the feeling from every single enemy watching this. But anyway, and yeah, that's all my that's all the review to Nisekoi episode six, season two. And again, like I said, the sparkles as good as ever. Anyway, I hope you guys like it. Become one of the channel fans today. If you guys want something fan mail, go in my description below. My address is there. And yeah, hope you, hope you guys like it. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys there. Bye, guys.